Good evening, dear ladies. I would like to bless all of us. Bezrat Hashem, she'd get a mashiach tzidken b'mirav yameinu amen. Shagiyah mevaser eliyahu navi eliyahu tish beliyahu giladi b'mirav yameinu mashiach davidi eliyahu navi zachul atov. We just finished Chanukah. We just finished Zot Chanukah. Yesterday it was Zot Chanukah, and we had a Shabbaton. And, my, and the students over there told me that they want me to give the lesson that I gave, one of the lessons that I gave on the Shabbaton, in front of the camera in order that everybody will have the schut to hear this lesson. There were a few lessons, but I'll do one of them today, Bezrat Hashem. So, dear ladies, this Shabbat is Parashat Vayigash, first of all. Please go to rabbanitiiris.com or go to toranytime.com. Uh, and please watch over there, Parashat Vayigash, Dvar Torah, you'll have a Torah a lesson in order to give it around the table, Besiyat Adishmaya, on Shabbat. Parashat Vayigash, you remember the brothers come and speak with yourself, Yehuda, speak with yourself, speaks with yourself. And Yehuda, it says in the Zohar Kadosh, it's like the conversation between Mashiach ben David and Mashiach ben Yosef. Two Mashiachim. This conversation on the surface looks like the two men are speaking, two brothers are speaking to each other. But in depths of it, it's the two Mashiachim that are speaking to each other about the end of days. Mashiach ben David and Mashiach ben Yosef. And I told you several times over here, why do we need two Mashiachim? Because, dear ladies, it says that Mashiach, the first Mashiach should take us out of exile and the second Mashiach should take the exile out of us. Okay. Now, dear ladies, we, the whole lesson is going to be on En Mazal Yisrael. It's written in Masechet Shabbat, Daf, uh, page Kuf Nun Vav, 156. It's written over there, dear ladies, that there's no luck for the children of Israel. What does it mean, luck? We don't mean luck which means if, if we succeed in something or not. Luck means constellation. The children of Israel is above the constellations, above the stars. There are seven stars, and Hashem said, if the children of Israel are behaving like the children of Israel, they're above the stars. Now, above the children of Israel and above the uh, nations, above each person, the name, the, there's the name of Hashem. But above the children of Israel, there are two names of Hashem. One of them, dear ladies, this is Israel, is Yud K Vav K, the name of mercy of Hashem. The other name is Elohim. But above the nations, Umot Olam, there's one name, and it's Elohim. Elohim is the name of judgment of Hashem, but it's not written the way it's, it sounds. It's written Elami. These are the letters of Elohim, the same letters, but it's not written Elohim, Elami. You remember Paro, we are almost there, Chumash Shmot Parashat Shmot. Paro says, Moshe Rabbeinu comes to him and he said that Hashem tells him to free the children of Israel. And Paro says, who is Hashem? Mi Hashem she'eshma bekolo. He says, mi Hashem she'eshma bekolo. Who is Hashem that I will listen to him? I don't know Hashem. He wanted to show Moshe Rabbeinu that he knows part of the name of Hashem, which is me, you see? So Hashem tells Moshe Rabbeinu, ele ha-moftot, ha-otot ha-moftim. He says, these are all the signs, ha-otot, ele ha-otot, Vehamoftim that I'm going to do to the Egyptians. He says, yes, he knows part of my name, but he doesn't know Eli. Above the nations, there are one name, Elohim. It's divided, the same letters, to Elemi. Ele haotot vehamoftim, mi Hashem asher eshma bekolo. So Paro knew the name, mi, but he didn't know the whole name, Eli. Together it's Elohim, it's the name of judgment. Elohim in numerical value, remember that the kuf is hay, is 86. This equals hateva, nature. Hay is 5, 5, tet is 9, bet is 2, ayin is 70, it's 86. Dear ladies, teva means, nature means that fire burns, water drowns, the tough one and the stronger wins, even though he's not, it's not justice, but he wins. This is Teva, this is nature. But the children of Israel 
are not in nature, they're above nature because they have the name of Hashem of mercy. Yud Kei Vav Kei is the name of Hashem, which is in numerical value 26, is the name of Hashem of mercy. And Elohim is the name of Hashem of judgment. Elohim is nature. It's the name of Hashem of nature. This is judgment. So the children of Israel, when they remember that they are the sons and kings of the sons and daughters of a king, they are above nature. When do we re remember this? When we keep the mitzvot, when we behave nicely to each other, when we love each other, when we are united, then we are the sons and daughters of a king. But when we, do, when we don't remember when we ca where we came from and we behave just like the nations, then the name Elohim is above us. And this is the one that influences us. But Masechet Shabbat says, Israel are above the constellation. So Besiata Dishmaya, let's see, it's written in Tehillim chapter 34, A lot of sorrows comes to the righteous person, but from all of them, Hashem rescues him. From all of the sorrows, even though he has sorrows, Hashem rescues him. Yosef HaTzadik, 12 years was in prison, in the Egyptian prison. And Hashem saved him from there and made him from prison, from the lowest place that is in Egypt, to the highest place in Egypt, the right hand of Pharaoh. Can you imagine this? This is only by Hashem, above the constellations. Avraham Avinu told Hashem, he said, God, I know I can't have children because I looked at the constellations, at the stars, at astronomy. I looked and I saw by my map. I cannot have children. It's not written in my luck, in my constellations. Hashem has said, I am Hashem that created the world. I will make you above the constellations. The constellations do not touch you and your children. So Avraham Avinu had children. Yitzchak Verifka couldn't have children. Again, Hashem made a miracle above the constellations. And they had a child and they had children. Two tw they had twins, two children, two sons, dear ladies. This is called above the constellations. Why? Because the children of Israel are so holy, because they are the firstborn of Hashem. So, dear ladies, they, all of their appearance in this world is by a miracle. Above nature. All of the appearance. Why? Because this is how Hashem created us. We need to keep 620 mitzvot. 300, 613 from the Torah and seven mitzvot the Rabbanan from the sages together, 620 like the crown, like a keter, dear ladies. So let's look. It's written, Rabot Raot. Where do we see Raot? Is all the bad things. Raot means bad things. It's written in Parashat Kitavo. All of the tochachot, all of the curses that are written in Parashat Kitavo that refer to the second temple, the ruining of the second temple, the sages counted them, all of the words, and the words are exactly uh, tar'av. I'm going to wipe the board in a minute, tar'av. And the letters are ra'ot. You see, it's the same letters. Tar'av is 676. 676. There are 676 words of cursing inside Parashat Kitavo to tell the children of Israel if they won't listen to Hashem, then this and this is going to happen to them. But in the same paragraphs, there's the mention of the name of Hashem, Yudke Vavke, of mercy, 26 times. 26 is also the numerical value of the name of Hashem Yudke Vavke, of mercy. 26 multiplied by 26 is 676. That's why King David said, Sheva Brabot Raot Sadiq, there's a lot of bad things that happen to a righteous person, like the number of the curses in Parashat Kitavo, Umikulam Yatsileinu Hashem. And from all of them, the name of Hashem, Yud Vavke, saves us. Why? Because it's 26 multiplied by 26, parallel to exactly the same letters and the numerical value of Raot. So let's continue. Where do all of these, these Raot come from? So Hashem made 
seven stars in the world. And the, the stars in initials are this. You'll see it in a lot of places. The initials is Shatsam Chankal. You see the initials? Each one stands for a star. The Shin is for Shabtai, Saturn. The Tzadik is Tzedek, Jupiter. The Mem is Maadim, is Mars. Chet is Chama, it's the sun. Nun, dear ladies, is Noga, is Venus. Chaf Kochav is Mercury. The Lamed, the Levana, it's the moon. Seven stars, that's how Hashem created the world. And they influence us all over the world. Everything that happens is influenced by them. Who influences them? Hashem. He's above them. But this is, these are the stars that Hashem created. Four of them are good stars. They've been good things to the world, dear ladies. Three of them are stars that bring war, blood, and chaos to the world. The three that bring chaos to the world is Madim. Madim is Mars, Shapta is Saturn, Velavana is Moon. These are the three that bring chaos to the world. Those are the three stars. All the others, dear ladies, bring good things to the world. But Hashem wanted us to be above the constellation, above the stars. So what did Hashem do? It's, the King David says in chapter 119 in Tehilim, I praise your name with seven things every day because this is your judgment. So Hashem says, if a man does these seven things, he is protected from these three stars and the four stars, dear ladies, all seven stars. If a man, I'll tell you exactly. If a man has circumcision, Brit Mila, dear ladies, he's protected from the influence of the star uh, Mars, Maadim. If a man has put tefillin shel rosh, the tefillin of the head, he is protected from Shabtai, from Saturn, from the influence of the star Saturn. If a man puts tefillin shel yad, he is protected from the star moon, from the influence of moon. Each of them is parallel. Do you remember there are four elements that, that Hashem with them created the world, with four elements. You remember? There's ash, fire, eretz, earth. There's maim, water. And then there's uh, air, four elements. These stars are parallel to three elements. Ma'adim to fire. Fire, the fire means pride. When we have circumcision, the circumcision itself, it's the actions themselves cause us to have more humbleness. Makes our body be a whole to Hashem. This is a treaty between us and Hashem. Mamash, like we are signing a treaty between us and Hashem. The second star is Eretz, Shabtai, which means Shabtai, which is Saturn, is parallel to the element of Earth. Earth means, dear ladies, a depression, laziness. We do not want to do what Hashem wants us to do. We are depressed. Most of us have it. We feel it during the day that our... Um, our temperament goes down, we don't feel, we feel that, oh, you know, today it was so hard for me to daven. You know what I mean? It, I was so depressed, I, I felt it very harsh. Very, this is from the element earth. We spoke about it, we had lessons about it. The solution for this is being happy. When I feel myself depressed, the only thing that I need, okay, thank you Hashem that you woke me up in the morning. Thank you Hashem that I have legs, hands, a mouth, teeth to chew and to, to swallow the food because there are people that don't have teeth. So thank you for my eyes. Thank you for my ears that I can listen. Thank you for the nose that I can smell and enjoy the smell of things. We have, thank you for the roof that you gave me. Thank you for the clothing. Thank you that I can go to work, that you gave me a job. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for my children. Thank you for everything. Very fun. Thank you for my parents, my family, Klali Israel, and the whole world. Thank you for the trees that I can watch them and see and enjoy the beauty of, of nature. So we have a lot of things. So once I get depressed, what do we need to do? To find the, the beauty and everything that Hashem gave us and to be thankful for this. And then we have Levana. Levana is the moon. And this is parallel to water. 
You know, always they say when there's a full moon, things happen because water means lust. Tava. For things like lust for women, lust for money, lust for clothing, lust for food, lust for alcohol, everything. This is, uh, mine is the element that means that you want things in this world and you have lust for things in this world. If you want things in this world in measure, in order to work Hashem, that's good. But once it goes out of the measure and becomes like an obsession for other things, this is already the work of the evil inclination. So, dear ladies, we see the three stars, and we say Madim, which is Mars, is uh, uh, the circumcision prevents the influence of this star, and then Tfilin Shel Rosh prevents because it it goes to the head. I told you because the, the element that controls it, it's Earth, and Earth means depression. It starts from the head, so we put Tfilin Shel Head. We put the Tfilin of the head. It, it, it stops the influence of this star, of Saturn. And then Levana, which means lust for things. We get, we get lust for things from what? From our heart. We have desires from our heart. So once we put that feeling of Yad, it's parallel to the heart in order that it will control the, yes, to control the heart that the heart will not have desire for things that we don't need. So this is Tfilin Shel Yad. And for the other four stars, it's the four strings of the tzitzit. So a man that has the tzitzit, dresses up with a tzitzit, puts Tfilin of head and hand, and has circumcision like King David says, then Baruch Hashem is protected from the influence of the seven stars. He's above nature. So let's continue. There's a beautiful thing. It says, Maor Enaim says that the Chanukiah, that the menorah that was in the temple in Vet Mikdash, and you should know that when we light the menorah on Chanukah, the menorah of the temple is lit also. By the action of lighting our menorah on Chanukah, we light spiritually the menorah that is hidden in Yerushalayim, in under. Uh, where, the, where the temple was built in the tunnels, somewhere it's hidden. Over there, the menorah that Kohen Gedola used to light is lit too. And it's parallel to the seven stars, dear ladies. You see over here? It's parallel for the, and it goes like this from right to left to the seven stars. Shatsam Chankal. This is for Saturn, dear ladies. You see it over here? This is for Jupiter, Tzedek. This is for Mars. And then this is for the, uh, for Mars, this is Jupiter, this is Mars. And the sun is in the middle. This is the sun. This is the middle, you see? The middle line is, a, is parallel to the sun. And then we have Noga, Venus. We have Kochab, Mercury. No, this is Noga. This is Mercury, and over here is the moon. Exactly seven stars parallel to the seven kanim of the menorah that was in the temple. And the sun is the middle. The three kanim over here of the menorah, on the right side, is parallel to the three days before Shabbat. Which means Revi'i, Wednesday, Chamishi, Thursday, and Shishish, Friday. In the middle, it's Shabbat. The middle one is Shabbat. And then the other three is the three days after Shabbat. Rishon, Sheni, Sunday, Monday, Veshlishi, and, th- and Tuesday. When the, uh, why? Because each day has a star that is controlling that day. And each hour has a star that controls the hour. And there are and special angels that control the hour, the day, the month, it, it, and the constellation. You understand? It's each hour. Why was it like this parallel seven and not eight? Because when the Kohen Gadol, when the high priest lights the menorah in Beit HaMikdash, and in the Mishkan, when Aaron HaKohen lit the menorah in Parashat Baalotcha, lit the, lit the menorah in the Mishkan, all of these actions causes the children of Israel to be above nature, above the constellations, above the stars. 
which means there's a sign, and we have it. We have it in us. We have the menorah in us. Because the menorah, here's oh, the sun and Shabbat. You see, this is the, this is this, the middle kane. And over here we have three. If you take the legs and you pick them up like this, and you take the hands and you pick them up like this, and you take your ears and you pick them up like this, we have three and three. <laughs> menorah. Yes, it's the menorah that is installed in our body. Everything in our, what you see in Beth Migdash, everything that you see is installed in our body. So it's, this is the middle line of the menorah, and three from all the, the legs up, the hands up, and the ears out. Together, it's the menorah, the mamash kacha. So we, we can be above the constellation, dear ladies. And you see it in the menorah. So let's continue. It says, the siyat adishmaya, I'll go to Rabbeinu Bechaye, in parashat vayish, eh, no parashat vayish, no. In Parashat Vayelech, it's written like this. Ein mazal Yisrael. The children of Israel are above the constellation. Ve'ein ha'kavana b'zeh shelo yom mazalot gormin l'Yisrael. It doesn't mean that it, they want the constellations, the stars won't influence the children of Israel. Harei amru b'ferush mazalot gorem. That is luck, that his constellation causes him. Aval ha'inyan she'in Yisrael e'nan mesurin tachat mimshelet ha'mazalot l'Yisrael. The children of Israel were not given under the constellations because Hashem made them above the constellations when they behave as, as the children of Israel. All of these stars and all of the constellations were created for the tzaddikim, for the righteous people, dear ladies. That's why, why? because the righteous people, the tzaddikim, the right, righteous sages, can help the children of Israel to be above the constellations. And even though things happened, you remember that El 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 Elisha Navi, Elisha was the student of Eliyahu Navi. And when the, the army of Ashur came to fight the children of Israel, and, the, and his servant was there, and he told him, what's going to happen? We don't have enough soldiers. What shall we do? He said the names of Hashem, and he causes the Masach, we have over here like a masach, like a screen. screen. It caused, caused the screen to fall, and he saw all of the army of Hashem, all of the angels of Hashem standing. Wow. He, and he was astonished. He couldn't believe. So this, these are the righteous people, uh, the righteous sages that are in every generation <laughs> that help us, the children of Israel, to be above the constellations. This is the work of Hashem. So let's look and see what the, you remember the Greeks now in Hanukkah, what did they want to prevent the children of Israel? Of three mitzvot. Yes. The mitzvot of Shabbat, circumcis, circumcision, and Rosh Chodesh. And the first, and the first day of the month, sanctifying the first day of the month. Why these three mitzvot, dear ladies? So let's look over here. In order that we won't be influenced by the three stars, the ones that I told you that cause wars in the world. In order that we won't be influenced by the star of Shabtai, Saturn, Hashem gave us Shabbat. Shabbat prevents the influence of the star of Saturn. In order not to have the influence of Maadim, Maadim, dear ladies, is about blood. Maadim from uh, red, the color red. Yes, circumcision in order that we won't be influenced by the star of Mahadim. In order not to be influenced by the star of Levana, the moon, dear ladies, Hashem gave us the sanctification of the first day of the month. This protects us. That's why the Greeks, which were great in astrology, knew that. They wanted to prevent us so we will be under the stars. That's why they prevented especially these three mitzvot. What protects the women from these stars, the Jewish women? From Saturn, dear ladies, lighting the candles of Shabbat and Yom Tov. Mm -hmm. By lighting the candles of Shabbat and Yom Tov, we are not under the influence of Saturn. By keeping Nida, the purity of the family, this counting seven days after the period, 
counting seven days and then going and dipping in the mikveh, immersing our body in the mikveh, it prevents the influence of Mars for women. By doing the chala and the frashat chala, it prevents the influence of moon, of the moon over the women, the Jewish women. It's not in vain that Hashem said that the women need to do three mitzvot. Why? Because after the Adam Arishon and his wife sinned, now they are under the constellations. In order to be above, Hashem said, this and this you have to do. You have to. The women have mitzvat chana. Mitzvat chana. Which means, we light the candles of Shabbat and Yom Tov. We keep the purity of the family. Count seven days and go to the mikveh. We, we bake a challah and we do a frashat challah, dear ladies. We make a challah and we make a frashat challah. All of this in order to prevent from us to be under the influence of these, these stars that causes war in the world. And if we are speaking about it, Let's speak about the three months that are very dangerous because they are under the influence of the angel of Esav, which is the Samech Mem, the evil inclination. You remember, it says, dear ladies, Rabbi Shimshon Mastropolis, Chodot Aganelenu says, Why did the spies that Moshe Rabbeinu sent to the land of Israel failed like this and slandered the land of Israel? So he says, Mipnei shayamim hayu yemei bikurei anavim. Because the days were the days, dear ladies, of the first uh, fruits of, the, of grapes. And then he says, this is parallel, that, but that Spineu Shlosha Yerechim, Yocheved, the mother of Moshe Rabbeinu, kept him hidden for three months. So the Zohar Kadosh says, dear ladies, that these three months are months of judgment. Dina kashia ba'olam. There are three months, lo alenu, that there's harsh judgment in the world that influence all the world, all the nations and Kalal Israel. Why? Because these three months, the even inclination took, took it to them. Yaakov and Esav divided the months. He took three months, Esav. And what are the months? The month of Tavet, the month of Tammuz, and the month of Av. Three months. The month of Tevet, which we are now in it, it's Asara. You know that on the 10th of Tevet, we have a fast, Ta'anit Asara Betevet. Why? Because there was a sage around the Yerushalayim, around the city of Yerushalayim, dear ladies. Siege. 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 Around Sama? January 10th, right? No, no, Asara Betevet. This is the month of Tevet. So, dear ladies, it's, it's almost, it's next week. There's a Ta'anit, dear ladies, because of this siege, Nachon? Siege. Siege around this Yerushalayim, around Jerusalem. It was the beginning of the ruining of the temple. On Yudzayin Betamuz, on the 17th of Tammuz, they broke the walls of, of the city of Yerushalayim, of Jerusalem. And then on the 9th of Av, they burned the temple. So these months, Tevet, Tammuz Ve'av, they are in the hands of the Samech Mem, of the evil inclination, and you have to remind yourselves, do not fight with people. Do not answer in anger. Do not, if somebody doesn't behave nicely to you, nonsense, don't, don't react back. Remember, this is the time that war start. It's the time that a lot of accidents happen. It's the time that people fight. Don't fight at home with your husbands, your children. Remind yourselves, this is the month of Tevet, one of the months that Esav took. Please keep peace. Remind yourselves, us, and I hope that the nations also listen, because these are very severe months. These are months that the fire is burning under the feet of people. Surgery is okay? Surgery. If yes, of course. You say to heal him and go to do it. I told you, above the constellation. So, dear ladies, I'm reminding you, month of Tevet. So now that we saw all this, let's see. All of the hints that are in the Torah that tells us that we are above the constellation. I'm giving you a few. We read on, we read also every morning, but we read also B'Siyat Adishmayam, the chapter 30 in Tehillim on Hanukkah. Uh, it starts, Mizmor Shir Hanukkah Abayt Le David, the celebration of the, of the house of David. So, dear ladies, 
we look at the initials. Mizmo starts with a mim, Shir starts with a shin, and Chet starts, and Chanuk, Chanukat starts with a Chet. Mem is for the, the star of Ma'adim, Maz. Shir is for Shabtai, of Saturn, just to show you. You remember we read it in, just on Chanukah, why? To show that Hashem made us above the stars. Dear ladies, and Chet is over Chala, which means Levana, the moon. Chala, the moon. Here we have a hint why they wanted to prevent us from sanctifying the first day of the month, causing us to stop the circumcision and causes us not to keep Shabbat. And then we go to Yaakov Avinu, Parashat Baishlach. Two weeks ago we finished Parashat Baishlach. Baishlach, it's written by Yavo Yaakov Shalem. Yaakov came back to the land of Israel as a whole from Lavan. He ran away from Lavan Arami. Lavan the devious. So, and he came a whole. Rashi says, Shalem Baguf, Shalem Bamamon, Ve Shalem Batorah, which means he came as a whole in body. He wasn't injured in his body. With the money, he was very wealthy. And then the Torah, and he studied Torah, even though he was with Lavan for 22 years. And these are parallel to Shabtai, Ma'adim, Ve Levana, to Saturn, Mars, and the moon. Because Saturn causes injury when a person doesn't keep the mitzvot, that the commandments of Hashem, he injures the person in his body. Sickness is lo alenu. So uh, we see that Yaakov Yugiya Shalem, the shin, the shin of Shalem is Shabtai, Saturn. The Lamad of Shalem is Levana, is the moon. The Mem is Ma'adim, Ma'adim is Mars. You see? It means that he was above nature and these stars did not influence him. And that's why he came as a whole in body, money, and Torah. Because Shabtai, Saturn, causes an injury, says Rabbi Shimshon Mostropolis, says Saturn injures the body. And I will give it from his book. It says like this. The Shabtai who leshon shvita. The star Shabtai, which is Saturn, is like Shivita. A person doesn't want to do what Hashem wants him to do. Ve'im shabet adam me'asot ratzon kono. If a person doesn't do the will of Hashem and thinks that he can be like the nations, Shabtai makerto begufo. He touches him in, Shabtai hits him and touches him in his body. Mida keneged mida. Measure for measure, Hashem gave us the body in order to worship Hashem with the body, to use the hands and legs to do mitzvot to do good deeds and to do the commandments. So, lo alenu, he causes him to be a shvita, that he cannot go with his body and do the mitzvot. If it needs to pray, if he needs to go to, to give tzedakah, everything that is included in the, in the mitzvot. Vechen ha'over al mitzvot Hashem bekum ve'ase. Shabtai mashbit et gufo mechaleu shalo yuchal avo. So if a person does, doesn't listen to the will of Hashem and does the opposite of the will of Hashem, so the, the star of Saturn causes him to be sick and to be in bed. And then we continue and we see Ma'adim. Ma'adim is Mars. Ma'keba mamon. Mars hits a person in his money. Sheimeno sets the kabe mamono, mafsid lo mamono. That if he doesn't do tzedakah and gives ma'asel, he loses his money. If a person doesn't give the right ma'asel, not only he loses everything, but also he uses this money lo alenu for sicknesses. So the money didn't help. And let's continue. Levana, the moon. Levana hu libuna shel halacha. Levana, the moon, means studying the Torah and studying the commandments. Gam hi notzetz et or dogma Torah or because the Torah is the light. Ner mitzvah ve Torah or the Torah is the light. That's why the children of Israel count by the levana the days of the month. They sanctify the first day of the month. So, dear ladies, levana we see it over here. If we if the if we are under the influence of the star Shabtai Saturn Lo Alenu the body gets hit. If we are under the influence of Mars the money we have gets hit. 
And if we're under the influence of the moon, our Torah, the study of the Torah, is injured. So let's continue. We see that we are now in Parashat Vayigash. And over there, Yosef says to his brothers, Vayasimeni le'av le'paro ve'le'adon le'chol beito moshel bechol mitzrayim. That Paro put, put a, he put him, a Yosef, Yosef HaTzadik upon all of Egypt. He made him like a father to all of his house, the right hand of Pharaoh. And Moshel, like a ruler. And Moshel again, he gives, him the, he gives his brothers the hint, Hashem made me, put me over there, that the influence of Ma'adim, Mars will not be on me. This is the name of Moshel. Shin of Saturn, Shabtai, Shabtai, and Lamed of Levana. That these stars, the moon, Lamed of Levana, and, and Saturn, the Shin of Shabtai, and the Mem of Ma'adim cannot, could not influence me. I was above the stars. And you see by hints in inside the Torah. Ken, in, inside the Torah, Mamash hints. And he says, I was a ruler of all Egypt. So the Chida says, dear ladies, a beautiful thing. The Chida says, on Hanukkah, we have all of these three mitzvot in the eight days. We have the mitzvah of Shabbat. We have the mitzvah of Mila, circumcision. And we have the mitzvah of Osh Chodesh. We have the mitzvah of Shabbat at least in Hanukkah. At least one, day, one Shabbat we have, sometimes two Shabbatot. But at least one Shabbat, parallel to the mitzvah of Shabbat that the Greeks wanted to take from us. And then we have Rosh Chodesh. Always it starts on the, on the 25th of Kislev. So we always have Rosh Chodesh Tevet, two days of Rosh Chodesh. And then, dear ladies, circumcision, eight days of Hanukkah is parallel to eight days of Milav. After eight days, when a baby is born, after eight days, he's circumcised. So this is Milah. It's, it's written in a Shmot, dear ladies. I don't know if I wrote it over here. Yeah, I did write it. It's written in Shmot Rabbah, Midrash Rabbah, dear ladies. Ketuvah over there, she ain zot ela mila. You know, the eighth day of Hanukkah is called Zot Hanukkah. And it's written that ain zot ela mila. Zot, the word zot, means mila, circumcision. Why? Because it's written in Bereshit, Chumash Bereshit, chapter 17, verse 10, Zot Briti Asher Tishmeru. This is my treaty that you should, the circumcision, that you should keep between me and you forever. The Jewish people, the men are circumcised. After eight days. So this Zot means circumcision. So dear ladies, we have Zot Hanukkah on the eight days that is parallel to the mitzvah of Mila, of circumcision that, that, sh that the Greeks did not want the Jewish people to keep because they wanted the influence of Mahdi Mas to be upon them. And they wanted the influence of Saturn to be on them. And they wanted the influence of Levana to be on them. Why? Because if they have lust for the materialism in this world, they will be under the influence of the Hellenistic culture that looks only on the external and not on the internal part of the human being, on the soul of the human being. The body is only the clothing for the soul. A man and a woman, the essence of us as a human being is the soul, not the body. We shouldn't be mistaken. But until today, from the winning of the second temple until today, we are all under the influence of the, the, and the Hellenistic cultural because we all look at the external part of a human being. We do not, even when children go to dates, they want to get married. Instead of checking exactly what midot, what kind of a human being is sitting in front of us, if they are gentle, if they use kind words, if they keep, if they keep all the mitzvot, if they study the Torah, if they have yirat Hashem, the fear of Hashem. This is how we should choose a, a, a husband or a wife. That's the important thing because when we go to sleep, we go with a characteristic of that human being, not with the beauty, the outside beauty, because this vanishes during the years. What we stay with is whom the person is. So if the person is not a nice person and a kind person, even if he will, he will be the, it will be Miss America. You cannot live with her.
essence. The, it's the essence of the human being that we live with. Every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, year after year. That's the internal beauty. But the Greeks didn't want us to, be, to look at the internal. They wanted us to forget the Torah, to be under the nature, to be like them. And Letzari Arav, and to my sorrow, until today we have this influence. It didn't vanish from the world. Some of us are still uh, swimming in this culture. Mm -hmm. We don't remember that we need to be tzniut. We don't remember that we need to cover our head also with tzniut. We don't, need to, we don't remember that we need to keep the mitzvot. We think that we can curve the corners of, of the table, but we cannot. This is only the illusion of the evil inclination. He conquers spaces in this world, and we are at the end of days. No shortcuts. No shortcuts. There's never, there's never shortcuts. Everything is from Hashem. Mm -hmm. What Hashem told us to do is the truth. Hashem loves us. So what He gave us is to be above nature. And He loves the nations. He said, the children of Israel, you are my firstborn. You should keep 620 mitzvot, commandments. And the nations, seven commandments that He gave to Bnei Noach, to Noach's children. And he says, this is how I want to rule the world. This is the way that the world's supposed to work, and everybody will be happy. Everybody will have enough income, enough parnasa. We'll, have, we'll get married. We'll have children. We'll see great-grandchildren. Anyway, anyone that comes to this world goes out of this world. Everything is evil avalim. Everything is a nonsense. And nobody goes to the next world with his pockets filled with gold, silver, diamonds, nothing, with his house with him, his car, and all the clothing, and all of the shoes, and all the bags. Bank account. Bank account, nothing. So what the, Greek, the Greeks wanted is to cause us like, like to drown in the Hellenistic culture. That's what they wanted us. And we are still in the same culture. We are all, all of us in the, now in, it, it just changed names, capitalistic uh, culture. Just, the, it's a, a changing of a name, but it's the same thing. We should remember that everything that Hashem created is in order that, that the human beings can use it in order to praise the name of God in this world. That's, what we, that's why we have everything. God loves all of, all of His creation, all of us. Hashem loves all of us. But we need to remember Hashem and to love ourselves, to have mercy upon our souls, that we won't be punished on the other side and here in this world. So accept the suffering with love. Go back to Hashem. Remind ourselves. We need to remind ourselves of Hashem. Do the will of Hashem. It's not hard. It's only the evil inclination, the Yetzirah that gives us the, this imagination to think that it's very harsh to do the will of Hashem. But the truth, it's not hard to do the will of Hashem. We just need to have the will to do it. Right. Hashem says, open a hole, this hole, this hole of will, like a, like a, a machat, a needle, mm -hmm. like the hole of a needle, and I will open the gates for you. So Besiata Dishmai, I would like to bless all of us, Bezrat Hashem. Shagia Mashir Titan Mirabi Amen again Shagia Mavasar Lian Navilia Tish Bilagledi, Mirabi Shah David Lian Vizahula Tov. Lolami Paradadami Havor with Bala Hayahid Barabim, Alahaka Rabim. Hazak.